myself today. We partnered with Best Fiends to bring you what's on my iPhone. That's right, I'm gonna be showing y'all what's on my iPhone today since we've done Brooklyn's before, but now it's time for me to show mine. So you guys might see that a lot of the apps are very similar, but we have a ton of different apps as well because we have completely different personalities. So let's go check it out. Welcome to the magical abyss of Bailey's iPhone. That's right, this is my iPhone and this is my main screen. And I'm gonna jump right in by opening up my photos app so you guys can see I've got a ton of pictures and that's because I love pictures. And then on the bottom I've got my basic apps like my Safari, music, email, and phone call app thingy. And I'm not even close to as organized as Brooklyn is so I don't color code my stuff. I just put it in folders and that's about as good as it's gonna get. So I'm just gonna show you all my folders today. So I will go ahead and open up my games folder. As you can see, I only have one game on my phone and it is Best Fiends. As you guys know, our family has been having a huge competition with this app and I am definitely winning right now. So basically, Best Fiends is a puzzle adventure game where you collect and upgrade characters and by doing this, you have to match up same colored objects and defeat the slugs. So you guys can see I am level 67, which means I am totally beating my family right now. Oh yeah. So I'll kind of show y'all how it works. While I am talking about the game, Best Fiends decided to have a treasure hunt for the next three weeks where they will hide 15 items within the game, and if you find all 15 hidden treasures, you'll unlock a giant reward at the end. So Brooklyn and I decided to hide our own little gift inside the game, and it will be our B&B logo, and our hint for that is, even as twins, we're not always speaking the same language. And then on Friday, we will be tweeting out another hint that will help you find a different treasure in the game. All right, so this is my entertainment folder. As you can see, I've got the basics like social media, and then I've got the iTunes store and the Apple store. And one of the things that I use a ton is Spotify, and I swear by Spotify and my music, and I listen to it all the time, and I use it all the time because I love music. So there's that for y'all. And then I also have Instagram. My Instagram account is Brooklyn and Bailey. Technically, Brooklyn and I both share it, and we post daily. So that is one of the things you guys should definitely follow us on. We also have a Twitter account, it's Brooke and Bailey, if you guys want to follow us on there as well. We also post daily just like we do on Instagram, and just like every other teenager, I absolutely love Twitter. We also have a Facebook account, it is Brooklyn and Bailey. And then one of the apps that I use a ton on the entertainment folder is Shazam. So when I go to the mall and they have that really jamming music, but I don't know what the song is, I'll just press that button and it will look it up for me, and then I can add it to my Spotify account, it's like amazing! And of course, we have Snapchat. Our Snapchat account is Brooke and Bailey, if you guys wanna check that out as well. We pretty much post whatever we're doing during the day on our story, and yeah, I mean, I'm sure y'all know how to work Snapchat, so check us out there at Brooke and Bailey. And of course, I have Pinterest, because where else am I gonna get those crafty ideas from? As you guys can see, I also have Musical.ly on my phone. So Brooklyn and I just got an account like a couple months ago and our account is at Brooke and Bailey. We posted two Musical.ly's a little while ago and they were both made at my grandma's house because we got super bored one day and we just made them. So there is that for y'all. I have some editing apps on my phone. One of the ones I use is PS Express, which is a Photoshop app that I use sometimes just to fix the color on my photos that I post on Instagram or Twitter. So that's one of the ones that I use a ton. I also have this studio app, which is basically meant for like YouTube creators. So we can see the analytics and stuff on our YouTube videos. I also have GroupMe on my phone. I use it mostly for like my sports GMs where people don't have iPhones and it's a lot easier to use. It's just like another messaging app. And then you can see I have Boomerang for Instagram. And of course I have the Cute Girls Hairstyles app because it is my mom's app where you can see all the hairstyles that she posts for her channel and whatnot. The next folder that I'm gonna show y'all is my apps folder. So at the front of this folder is just the basic apps that the iPhone comes with that they won't let you delete. And then I have on the back some of the apps that I do use, like my scriptures. I use these every Sunday and then every morning when I go to Bible study. So you guys can kind of see the layout of my scripture app there. And then I also have my Kindle app. This is like one of my favorite apps ever because I love to read. So you guys can see some of the books that I've been reading this summer on here. And then I also have just a remote app for Apple TV because I lose a remote all the time, all the time, literally all the time. I can never find it. And then I have my Sonos app, which is like another music playing app. And now it is time for my reference app. So this is where I keep all my school apps like the Google Drive, Google Slides, Google Docs, Power School. Got to keep up with those grades. And then I have the Weather Channel app because I like to know what's happening with the weather. And then LDS Tools is just another church app. And then my Chase Banks app because I like to keep up with my money and figure out what, what's happened over there. And then you guys can see that I have a clue up. Brooklyn also had this app on her phone and it basically just helps me track my periods so that I know when it's happening and all that craziness that happens during womanhood. 
And then here is my Guitars Tab app, which is what I use when I'm playing on Cameron's guitar to tune it or to check out songs or whatnot. And also I can use it for my ukulele. And last but not least, here is my last folder. So I'm gonna start off with the app Yelp. Basically you type in a store slash restaurant and it will find the closest one to you and give you directions, which is really helpful for me because I get lost a lot because I never know where anything is. So I definitely use that all the time. And then here is my studying app. It just keeps me on track and times for how long I've been studying. And the longer I study, the bigger my tree will grow. So I use this all the time just to keep me on track during the school year. Now here is one of my favorite apps. It's called Postmates. I use this when I'm traveling around like in the US, mostly when I go to LA. And it's basically like a delivery system where they will pick up your food and deliver it to you. So it's really nice. And then here I've got my style book app where I keep all my fashion inspiration ideas in here because you guys know I'm a fashionista and I love my clothing and my fashion. So I'll just put in my inspiration in there and then I'll reference it later. And then this is my bin app. So whenever I go anywhere to travel uh, internationally or in the US, I will type in the place that I go and this bin app will help me just keep track of how many places I've been and what percentage of the world I have seen. So that is my phone in a nutshell. As you can see, I only have five folders and then the main screen, so there y'all go. And now I'm gonna describe my case for y'all. So I just have a plain black Mophie case and I love my Mophie. And if you guys don't know what a Mophie is, basically it's like a portable charger. So what I do is I flip this little button to green and then I press the button on the other side and it will begin charging my phone. And then here is my home screen, as you guys can see. It is y'all, the people I met at VidCon and it is like the best home screen ever because I just love looking at your beautiful faces. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget, if you want to download Best Screens for free, click the link in our description box below. And also, if you like our channel or like our videos, definitely subscribe by clicking the button right over here. And if you want to see more of our videos, click the box over here. And last but not least, if you want to see our family vlogs, click right here. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see y'all next week. I love you guys to the moon and back. Mwah!